Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute, like over three months. So I wanted to go ahead today and give you an update and show you one of the things that I have done. Um, I have been working on some ADC, ATC cards for a swap that is in um, Kathy's friends, Kathy's World Friends and Family on Facebook. I don't know if that's still called that though. Um, but it's Miss Cat's Crafting, I believe, on YouTube. Um, if I can find it, um, I'll probably link it when I get um, a couple of swaps. Um, I do did get one from Donna Dreamstime 3, so I did get it. Um, I have opened it a little bit, and then I'm like, oh, well, I should do a video. So, <laughs> we'll be doing a video on that. So, I'm going to give real quickly why I'm just doing a flip through of this um, explain everything that's been going on okay hopefully it's not too long and I do apologize if it is too long so actually I did this about three weeks ago I finished this it is two um, signatures that I did go ahead and so on um, this is it's a different binding everybody has a square one well, I don't know. I just figure I like this because then if it gets big, it's big. If it's not, you know, it is very sturdy. It's got a lot of binding tape. Um, it was hard for me to sew through. I should have thought of that before I did that. But I didn't. And then I did a little ribbon, like little tassel, just little colors that are in, uh, in the book. So, <clears throat> this book is, if anybody is wanting it, um, I, I will be selling it. Um, it is up to you guys. Just give me, I don't know a price yet, but if you are interested, please just comment down below and email me. I believe my email is still in my, um, information or my, com in my community type thing. Um, pretty sure of it. Uh, cause I didn't, I didn't move it. The only thing I did is move my address cause my address is no longer the PO box. So, anyway, so here's the book. It's Winnie the Pooh. Um, two signatures, and let's get started, and I will tell you what's going on with the last probably almost three months. So, Alright, so there's a pocket here. So, everybody, I think you guys noticed from a lot of my other last video that um, my dad actually passed away. So, uh, sorry guys, I had to pause because Zach came into the living room, which is right off of my craft room. Um, so, as you guys know that I did, my dad passed away 9-11. Um, my mom was has not been doing well. Um, after my dad passed, I kind of was almost at a nervous breakdown. So, Zach and I was not doing really good, so... Um, and my mom was, uh, has, um, this Alzheimer's, like, dementia thing that she says mean things, and then she doesn't remember that she says it. Um, so that has happened. She was going to do the transplant, and she has opted not to do it, and being because I've heard a bunch of she cannot do it um, she even had a port to where she had medicine in for 24 she had to have medicine 24 7 seven days a week um, my cousin was doing the pump and everything they had to do it every night well after two weeks of doing it she had decided that she wanted to be mean and be MIA and leave and I mean, the doctor told her that she shouldn't be driving, and she pretty much told us I was going to drive, and she did. And <laughs> I'd call the cops on my mom to see what we could do about it, and apparently nothing. Um, so she did all this during the time that she should have been getting the medicine put in her IV, <coughs> and it was uh, not good. Uh, she didn't do it. That Sunday after that, they had her back into the hospital because something wrong was wrong with her heart. And come to find out, 
um, her heart wasn't pumping. I don't know. I can't even remember the word now. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I can't. No, I don't. I just can't remember it. It's where her heart was pumping, air regulated, and everything, and they didn't know if they could get her back, <coughs> back regular what she had before. Come to find out, the reason why it did it was because she did not have her medicine on time, and um, it would automatically do it every time she did it. So a group of doctors with the heart failure team decided that it was not in her best interest anymore to have it. So they had taken the pump and the IV out of her, and now she is pretty much not doing any of the medicine at all. Um, but the, the whole thing is that her doing her pill medicine, she wasn't doing it. Um, she would tell people she was, and then she wasn't doing it. So, um, about a month after that, it was before Halloween, she had broke her hip. About the, I would say the first of December. She broke her hip, and they had to put a pin in, and she was supposed to go to rehab, and she did for like a week, and my aunt took her off the rehab because all they were feeding her was the same thing over and over again. They wouldn't give her ice or water. Um, and so at, at the time, my mom, my aunt was the medical power of attorney because I revoked mine for right now because I needed to take care of me and myself. And I felt horrible with it, but I needed that time. Um, because it was not good here. Um, I pretty much drove myself back. Like, I wasn't really talking to anybody. Um, when I did, if somebody would ask me how I was doing, it would just be very short. Um, I did have people trying to pet me out of it, and some days again. Other times, they, it was just okay for the time that, you know, people was talking to me. And But it, it's hard. I... You know, it's the first time I've ever lost, you know, I lost my grandma, but like, it's different when I, I guess when it's a parent or even a child, I guess for that matter. Um, so I, I literally just was gone. Like I was only thinking about Zach and I, and Zach was having a hard time. So, um, I finally got the update about her hip and getting all that stuff and they brought her home she asked she was not doing very well at all so she asked to see me and my aunt so my aunt and I went um, and my mom didn't remember anything about the little thing that happened nothing so at that time, I just figured that I just need to let things go. I need to let the past go on some of the things with my mom because I regret so many things with my dad. And now there's some, I can't do anything about it. Um, so I've been trying to stay close, but then it was nine or two weeks after that, people in the, her house had gotten COVID <laughs> and <laughs> it was right around Thanksgiving when I was sold and <coughs> I, I tested negative at a home test three days later um, I ended up having to go to an urgent care because I could hardly breathe or anything else I thought it was just the flu they test me for the, the flu, bronchitis, something else, and then COVID. <coughs> Excuse me. Then all the, you know, I test positive for COVID, like normal. Um, wasn't that bad, but they were able because it was three days of having the symptoms that they gave me this, the pill form. <coughs> I can't even remember what it was for COVID because of my heart condition. Um. I took it, took it like I was supposed to. It 
made everything taste like metal. I could not get that taste out of my mouth for the life of me. I don't know if I'd ever take that ta t that them pills again. I mean, they were bad. They were yeah. Um. So I went ahead and did with that, and then I was waiting because it reminded me Thanksgiving. Is waiting, you know, the amount of time. Didn't know they had COVID up there, so I didn't want to go back in there and get Zach sick. I didn't get anything. About a week before Christmas, I decided to, to text say, hey, what's going on? You know, mom's got COVID. She okay? Um, they finally responded, yeah, she's fine. And I was like, all right. <coughs> and then I'm like, huh, you know, I'd like to see my mom. She's like, oh, well, you know, um, we're having Christmas, Christmas Day at such and such time. Well, I had other, you know, things done. I said, I'll be a little late, but we'll, we can be there. So we did that, and it was okay. She cried because she didn't think that we were coming. Well, nobody told her we were coming, which I was not really, really happy about. And, like, I seriously, I wasn't really happy about. And so the next couple days, I was, Zach was off, so we were going back and forth to Kinderville so Zach could see his grandma and she had talked to me about taking over all her stuff and doing a power of attorney. So I said okay let's we'll call the lawyer because she's still in the process of her divorce and my failing is that she he knows that she is not doing well and that she is declining and it is declining a little rapid than what I would have expected or anybody else would have. So, we called the lawyer and um, we did the power of attorney paper so I could do all her divorce stuff for her so then she does not have to go to mediation or the auction, which the auction is the day after my birthday, and try to get the stuff that she wants that he has not given her yet. Uh, she's not asking for much, um, but I did go to the lawyer and take the paper that, what she wanted, and some of the stuff is like my baby pictures, Zach's baby pictures, things that he doesn't really need. Um, her jewelry that was taken on her jewelry box, like all her jewelry type thing, which is rude, I'm just saying. Um, so I'm doing that, so... I started talking to a couple of people and realizing that I needed to update you guys on a little bit of this and I started realizing that I needed to get back crafting. Now, so that's, my mom is not doing well. Um, she is not very mobile. Um, I think that's really all I can say. I don't want to say too much more um, on anything like that. I'm just hoping that all this stuff gets done quickly. So I think, honestly, she's just living to get her stuff, to be honest. Um, and then I have tried talking to people and realizing the reason why I started my channel in the very first place. And I believe, if you go back, I think it's been five years. Five or six years. Probably going on six years. <clears throat> the reason why I started my channel was doing a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. And then I started doing a little bit of crafting. Is because my mom had breast cancer. And the doctor said I needed something that could help with stress. And like de-stress. So, with that being said, we're back. It seems like I've, I've went full circle. So, I will be starting videos again. Um, I don't know how, how many, how far apart, nothing. I, I am working on some swaps, um, some ATC swaps. 
um, I am working on a challenge, an ATC challenge as well. Um, the first week's prompt was jar and I, I went ahead and did this one. I do apologize for the lighting, but if I would have kicked on my other light, um, it, you wouldn't have been able to do the book. Um, so, so I used to call this a honey jar. From Indiana, I don't know. People say pot. I know that there is a honey pot, but then you say honey jar. It depends on who you say it and everything else. There is a big discussion on this. So that's why I put pot or jar, question mark. I say jar. What do you say? So, if you guys have made it this far, go ahead and comment down below on what, what you think. What would you would call this? Um, and we'll just have a little, see who says pot, see who says jar. Um, I have been not doing a lot of shopping, but I've been doing going to this thing that's a liquidation. And I found some good stuff, so I may be doing a, a thing on that. But this was week one in the ATC challenge, and it, <coughs> excuse me, who is doing it um, is Els, is B Must Crafty Corner on her Facebook channel. She has the um, prompts. So every week there's a prompt, there's 52 weeks. This is my jar, and like that was week one, and week two is flowers, some kind of flower. So I went ahead and I embossed them. Stamped, embossed, and did all that. I haven't done that in like forever. So them are the two for week one and two. Um, I will be doing, I have Happy Mail from Donna Dries Sign uh, 3 from the swap, the ATC swap on uh, Kathy's Facebook group. Um, so you'll be seeing that stuff. But like, I'm going to say this, I don't know how long, I will try at least one video a week, if not more, um, might be me coloring, could be me making cards, um, I don't know, I don't know if I would go live, I may, I may go live with other people, I don't know yet, but I have a weird thing with me going live and just sitting here and talking like this when people are just listening and I don't know what what actually is the difference because honestly you guys hear me I guess if I it's live anybody this I don't know that's I don't know it's never here or there right now but I I I, I am tending to come back that's my full thing I just need to make sure that I have everything done and helping everything and then have time for me. And this would be for me. So whether I have a couple things from the Dollar Tree and just do a quick video or doing like this, telling you guys what's going on, or even doing a journal, I don't know. But there will be content coming back to the channel soon. So guys. I do want do want to thank each and every one of you for the support that you have given me for the last several years. Um, I did see a couple emails that I did not respond to because they were in my junk mail, and I do apologize. I need to look into the junk area because I didn't think they'd go in there. But honestly, I'll tell you, IG is probably the best thing to get a hold of me if you need me. Um, I thought email would be, but it's bombarded with everything and not all my stuff. So, um, but I'm going to let it at that and just say I'm grateful for each and every one of you. And I hope you guys are well. And I hope to see you guys soon. Please stay safe. Um, we've got a bit of snow tonight, and my husband's working. I don't know how or where he's at. So I'm hoping he's okay. But just know that thoughts or prayers are with anybody that's dealing with a lot of this stuff. I never really thought, you never really thought it happened to you until it does. I guess that's all I can say that. 
a year that I thought would be full of joy and happiness because we got the house is now the year of sadness and this year is not equaling very well either so hopefully I can get past this hump and we can have a better a better year that's what I'm hoping last year sucked other than the house so I hope you guys have a great night and thank you for watching bye for now and keep crafting <laughs>